Welcome to LEGO BattleBots everyone. This is my first tutorial on the series and it's the first one you should be watching if you've seen my LEGO BattleBots and you want to do something like this but I have no idea how to do it. In this video we'll be talking about how to set up your drive, how to build something that can actually move, and what electronics and pieces you should buy. So first of all, before you do anything, you need to know you're going to be spending a lot of money on this. The electronics alone for a good battle bot could probably cost around $60 or most likely a lot more. Now for a smaller battle bot, the price is a lot cheaper, but be prepared to spend a lot when you're building things like this. Now for the electronics that you should buy, I recommend using Lego Power Functions pieces. These pieces are older and they don't make them anymore, so they are harder to find. And the infrared receiver does have some reception issues, but it's what I've been using on all my Lego BattleBots, and it's worked okay for my purposes. The motors are decently powerful, and they just work pretty well. Just be prepared that these electronics are very expensive if you want to get genuine Lego ones. However, there are some third-party brands that make these electronics. Some good, some not so good. If possible, the, getting the actual LEGO ones is the best way to go. Now, for when you're powering your bot, you have two options in battery boxes. Each uh, bot is going to need at least one battery box to power all its motors. You have this smaller one right here, which is kind of just a block and it uses six AAA batteries or you have this larger one which uses six AA batteries and be warned it's a lot heavier so I'd recommend not having more than two in your bot if you use them. Now for your wheels, your wheels are going to be pretty simple just get something that's big enough for what you want to do. This is a very much beginner's tutorial so we're not going to be doing any weapons or anything in this video. This video is just to show you what you need to get and um, how to build a basic bot, maybe a wedge bot that just drives around. And I'll be showing you two methods on how to build this. I'll be showing you what I call the Technic Brick Method, which uses Technic Bricks, which is this piece right here. Um, for the framing and then Technic and regular Lego pieces for the rest of it. I'll also be showing you how to set up a two wheel drive or a four wheel drive system. Now for the what I call the Technic Beam or Technic building style, um, it does not use any Technic bricks unless you need them for a certain part of the bot. This style is how most newer Technic Lego sets are. So if you have a bunch of Technic sets, most likely you'd be building a bot something like this. Now when you're building your first bot, I do not recommend trying to build anything more than just something that can drive around. It doesn't need to have four wheel drive, but it does need to have tank steering. And tank steering is where the robot has two drive sides and they're each powered individually, one for the left and one for the right. This usually only uses two motors, so if you're just trying to build a bot that can drive around and maybe push bots other bots around, just get two motors. You don't need anything more. Also, one IR receiver will power two motors, so if you want to have a weapon, you're going to need to get two of these. Same with the remotes. You'll need to get two remotes. And there are two different types of IR remotes if that's what you're getting. Make sure you get this kind because the speed remotes, they don't work. For powering your drive, I'd recommend using either the XL motors, the medium motors, or the large motors. Both of which are all good for powering the drive, whether direct or geared, depending on how your bot is built. The first building style I'll be showing you in this video is the Technic style. This is most likely how you'd probably be building if you already have Technic sets. I can only show you examples here. I can't really tell you, oh, you need to build this bot exactly. 
this is just an example that I'm showing you here. Um, if you look right here, this is where uh, a motor would connect up. Same here. Also, this only fit this bot that I just built only fits medium motors on direct drive, so I can't fit a bigger motor in if I wanted to. And I also made a place for the receiver. When you're building your bot, you do need to make sure that you have enough room for the electronics. Also, for building a wedge, which is a very simple weapon, which requires no power, make sure that it's not sloped too much. I would not recommend it being any more sloped than this wedge right here, because if you have it any more than that, it's really just going to be a wall and it's not going to do anything. Now, first up, for the drive, I'm going to show you two-wheel drive. All it is is two wheels, one on each side, each powered by a motor. It's pretty simple and it works. Um, most bots that I build usually just have two wheel drive. It's easy to do, it, it's not bad, and it's pretty easy. So all you have to do is have an axle that's not flimsy, of course, and have a place for the motor to connect up to power it. Um, that's about it. For four wheel drive, the simplest strategy you can use and which if you're a beginner and you somehow and you for some reason want to build a four wheel drive bot, I recommend just doing this. Just having a beam or brick with wheels and gears on it. Just remember if you're making a four wheel drive, make sure that in between each wheel there needs to be an odd number of gears, which is either one, three, five, seven, that. Because if you have an even number of gears, then the wheels will turn on the opposite direction and your bot's not going to go anywhere. Now for armor paneling, I'm not going to show you much in this video. Uh, just cover up your electronics is the most important part. Of course, on my bots, a lot of the time I do have exposed electronics, but we try not to hit those because they're expensive. But still, Armor paneling, it's going to make your bot look a lot better. Obviously, this bot right here with its armor on looks a lot better than this bot with no armor on. Um, but you don't need to do any crazy things for your armor. Just put pieces over stuff. Usually, with the Technic brick style building, uh, you can just use regular Lego plates. And these pins right here that allow you to connect to them. There's one important thing to note that when you have two wheel drive, you're going to need to have skids or some kind of wheels or something on whichever end is heaviest so that your bot doesn't just drag on the ground, shred your Legos that you don't want to get shredded, and have friction and bad pushing power. That's very important. It's pretty easy. You can just sometimes use wheels with no uh, tires on them and... Uh, there's even other pieces that work really good as skids too. Now, there is one important uh, technique that I'm going to show you in this video, which is going to be very useful. It works on both Technic brick and Technic style building, and it is called bracing. If you've already built Technic, you most likely know about this, but it's just where when you have pieces attached together with something, you put another piece across that to make it stronger. Now with Technic brick style building, it is a little bit more complicated because you have to have the right number of plates in between uh, whatever you're doing. So if you look closely there, there's a plate in between here. Put this beam, which is a Technic beam, over it to hold all this together. And this, using this on your builds will make you not have to use as many Legos, which means you can make more bots. When I first started building bots, I had a decent amount of Legos, and I only could build like one bot, two bots, until I started using this technique, and I started using so many less pieces, because I didn't have to build my builds as stronger, they were lighter, everything was better, it's just all worked out much better. There's one last thing to discuss for building your battle bot, and that is, does it look cool? Do you want it to? And this is something that I try to do on as many of my bots as possible because of course I'm uploading them to YouTube, people are watching them, and people like to see character. So um, if you notice this bot, this is double A from series 3 and it's got two A's on it and well that's about it. You can try 
patterns and colors. Uh, pushing your buttons here has two useless antennas. They don't do anything. They just look cool. And uh, there's really not much more to say to it. Uh, you don't have to make your bots look good. I try to. Um, but it's definitely not necessary. It's just something fun that you can do. Before the video ends, I just wanted to say thank you for 100 subscribers. If you're not one already, consider subscribing. There'll be more great content in the future. Also, make sure you check the description for links and other useful information. Thanks for watching.